I'll tell you call this. There was no point me coming in any earlier. I knew we wouldn't have many customers today. Well, yeah. How are we going to get them back? I don't know, OK? This is a bit of a mess. I really hope you're not regretting sacking McKenzie. As if? I mean, it, it's his fault me and Chaz are fighting. He ruins her night and yet I seem to get all the blame for everything. So, let's stop blaming and start talking. Eric and Chad are coming over for peace talk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I think we need to be leaving it at least a few weeks before we let the dust... Ah, thanks for coming. It was Eric's idea. The bill for the food that you ruined. I'll pay for that when you pay for ruining mine. Actually, that was down to me, so uh, perhaps we should uh, call it quits. Great start. Well, this doesn't seem to be getting us anywhere. Jazz, please. Let's hear what they have to say. Look, I'm sorry about what happened, OK? Mackenzie was causing trouble. He took it way too far and he's been sacked. Exactly. So now we can have a fresh start. Hmm. Certainly need one. We'll all be ruined if this keeps up. So we're all agreed on a ceasefire, yeah? Works for me. Chaz, there's a few things that need to be agreed before that. That's what I like to hear. Stay out of it. Oh, it's too late. I mean, these two will never agree on anything. And while they're fighting, all your customers are coming to the hide. <laughs> Even Mandy. Mind, it's not just her, is it? Everyone's avoiding you. And Vanessa and Mackenzie in earlier. Together? Yeah, having quite an intense conversation. Mind, they can't do it in here, can they? Because they can't be heard over the battle cries. OK, um, I'm going to have to go, sorry. Hey, what about our peace talks? Yeah, we'll finish them later, yeah? <laughs>